We're about to find out who has the best restart and can they hang on to that great track position. Out in front, James Busher, Timothy Peters making up row number one. Busher has chose the outside line. Peters on the inside line. Then in row two, the two of Brendan Gaughan and the 88 of Matt Crafton coming through the trial. But green flag back in the air. I don't think any tire spin that time, except Jason, Jason Leffler. Leffler. A lot of guys behind spreading out, but they're side by side as they go into turn number one. No advantage this time. Dead even coming off of two. Down the back stretch they go. Now the momentum on the outside. Has Busher in front of the 17, but here comes Timothy Peters on the bottom of the racetrack. This time by, the white flag will fly. Who will be in front when they cross the stripe? Well, Busher has the side advantage. With the lead with the white flag in the air. Side by side at the stripe. Peters had the advantage. White flag in the air. This is it. Final lap. They're battling door to door as they go through one and two. You think Timothy Peters is thinking about the big picture right now? He wants to win this race. He drives up in front of Brendan Gaughan. Brendan to the bottom trying to grab that spot. Now second, it's Brendan Gaughan taking it away from the 17 of Timothy Peters. Does he have any room to get up to the 31? James Busher, after changing a carburetor, coming through the triangle. James Busher will win in Chicago. Hornaday sideways on the front straightaway. He catches it, straightens back out. Now they're sliding behind him. Crawford trying to avoid him to 73. Brendan Gaughan coming home second. What a finish by James Busher. I'm telling you, you don't often change a carburetor during the race and get to victory lane. And in dramatic fashion, too. What a finish these guys put on. I love the truck racers. Fireworks in the sky. They were so determined to get the victory, whether it was Peters or Gaughan or Busher. They just fought so hard. Fireworks on the racetrack, too. And James Busher, coming into this season, hadn't won in NASCAR. Look at Rod Hornaday just pushes up and then finally gets sideways and right in front of Kale Gale. And yeah, Kale Kale, he did all he could do to avoid Ron Hornaday. Our, our scoring monitors have Hornaday beating Kale Gale by oh, a very, very small margin, about six one hundredths of a second. And Hornaday was going sideways. We talk about the mile and a half. This is a fifth of 10 mile and a half. That guy has won three of them. And you got to win on the mile and a half to win the championship, if history tells you. Absolutely. In the last 12 years, only two times as a, as a champion, not won at least one race on a mile and a half. Hermie Sadler. Mike Shelton, I'm going to get out of the way one second. <laughs> I saw that coming. Hey, a few laps before this race was over, you guys were in survival mode. Take what you can get and get out of here. You end up in victory lane. How'd you do it? These guys don't give up. James never gives up. I just can't thank them enough. I mean, thank God. Thank uh, thank you guys. I mean, they didn't give up. Carburetor change on pit road. James buckled down. One little change. I mean, he was on. He was on a mission. I just, I don't know what to say. I mean, that's, that's huge. Well, this is a good win for this race team. Come back from two laps down, and they're going to victory lane at Chicago. Thanks, Herbie. Big celebration for the 31 team and James Busher. Got his first NASCAR win to start up the season.